So today we're going to be planting some seeds indoors to transplant into our garden. And that's because spring is right around the corner, so this is a great activity. And when we plant these um, seeds and they become transplants, they're really beneficial because a lot of times they will produce sooner and flower earlier than seeds that were just sown directly into our garden. It's also very economical and a little bit cheaper to go ahead and plant directly from seeds because you're not buying those expensive transplants from garden centers. So the first tip is to start with really high quality seeds. You wanna purchase them from a place that specializes in plants. So um, garden centers, nurseries, even ordering them from seed catalogs is a really great idea. If you need help picking out seeds, a really great resource that K-State has is the recommended vegetable varieties. And these are vegetables that have been trialed and tested by K-State, so they're proven to do well in our Kansas weather. Um, when we're starting transplants indoors, some crops work better than others. So if you want to plant tomatoes and peppers, um, herbs, things like that, that's great to get started indoors. So the second thing you want to think about is when you're going to plant your seeds. So you need to think about the timing of when you're starting your seeds indoors and then when you're going to put them out in your garden. So you need to know the last frost date or around when you're gonna start planting your garden. Um, today we're gonna to be planting herbs. So I'm gonna be thinking about putting them outside around the beginning of May. And to grow them into a healthy transplant, it's gonna take about six to eight weeks. So if I wanna look at a calendar, it's easy to look around the beginning of May and then count backwards about six to eight weeks. And then you'll be able to figure out when you wanna start them indoors. And that's a great time to um, plant your seeds and then think about letting them grow until they um, are able to go outside and it's warm like springtime. So the third tip is to figure out what you want to plant your seeds in. And today we're going to be using a really nice um, seed starting system. So you can buy these systems at garden stores and other places. They come in lots of different types um, and usually they're little pellets that you just moisten and then um, you can go ahead and plant seeds in them. So these are really handy, but you don't have to use them. You can use anything really to start seeds. Um, you can even use egg cartons. You can make little cups out of newspaper or toilet paper rolls. Um, you can even recycle things like yogurt cups and plant your seeds in cups like this. If you're doing that though, make sure you use a high quality soil. So don't just get some soil out of your garden, but buy a nice seed starting mix from a garden center um, and use that in your cups. So tip number four is to be sure to read the seed packet very carefully and follow all the instructions on the back. So when you're planting them, you wanna start off with media that's already been moistened. Um, if you are using the seed starting mix, make sure you get it wet before you put it into your pots. And then we're just gonna fill each little cell with about two to three seeds. So an easy way to make a little hole is to use a pencil and create a little hole in the middle of each cell. And our seed packet says to plant them about one fourth inch deep. So I'm gonna take about two to three seeds and plant them down in our little hole that we made. And then you can just go back and kind of cover them up to create that one fourth inch deep. Another tip is you can plant them about um, two times deep as they are wide. So these herb seeds are not very big, so you don't have to plant them very deep. So once you've planted all your seeds, you want to go ahead and put the lid on them, or if you don't have a nice kit like this, you can just put some plastic wrap on top of them. And this is gonna create a really humid environment inside of there. So it's kind of creating a little greenhouse effect because these seedlings like a lot of humidity. And it's also gonna cut down on the amount of water you have to put in them. Um, and then you wanna give them a lot of light once they pop up. So you can either put them in a strong like south facing window or give them some artificial light. Um, it doesn't have to be a fancy grow light, just even a shop light works really well. And then the temperature of the room, you want it to be about 65 to 70 degrees um, so that your seedlings are really happy. So the next step is about transplanting your little seedlings. Um, once they've started to grow, um, the roots will fill up this whole cell pack. So once they've filled that up and you have a little seedling, you can go ahead and transplant them. So you can put them in a bigger pot and keep growing them indoors. Um, or if you have pretty big cell packs, you can just leave them in the cell pack and then keep them in that until spring. So seeds are really fun to start before spring gets here. You can find a lot of variety in seeds. Um, they're cheap and easy to do. So if you have any questions, contact your local extension office.